All right, what I'd like to do is show you how to um, find the inverse of this uh, function. So if you remember kind of, you know, the inverse of a function, um, what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to replace our f of x with the y. And the only reason why we do that is to help us algebraically solve for our y, okay? Um, and if you want to think about this, remember, inverse is kind of be like the opposite operations. So that's exactly what we're going to do. What we're going to do is we're going to transfer this from y equals 1 over... Actually, you know what? I'm going to save myself some space, and I'm just going to tell you to do it. Instead of writing an f of x, let's write y. Because remember, there's still the output value. Your y is still your output value of, a, of an x, but we use f of x because we're talking about functions. But it's still the output value. So we have y and x. Then what we're going to do is I'm just going to save myself some space. Now we're going to swap our y and our x. And the reason why we're going to do that is because inverse operations or inverse functions have inverse operations. So what we're going to do is we're going to kind of like undo what was happening originally to this x. So we're going to undo that. So what I need to do now is solve for y. So I have a square root of y squared minus 3 on the bottom. I have to get rid of that. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply by y squared minus 3 on both sides. So that's going to cancel out with that, and therefore I'm left with x times the square root of y squared minus 3 equals 1. All right. Then what I'm going to do is now I'm going to divide by x. Remember, guys, since it's subtraction, you cannot separate the square root into y squared and 3. All right, you can't do that. So I'm going to divide by x. Now those will cancel out. So I'm left with the square root of y squared minus 3 equals 1 over x. Now to undo the square root, I'm going to square the left side and the right side. Well, remember square root, this goes to 1 squared over x squared. Well, 1 squared is 1, so I'm just going to be left with x squared. So I have to have y squared minus 3 equals 1 over x squared. Then from here, I'll add a 3. So now I'm left with y squared equals 1 over x squared plus 3. Then to get rid of the root, I'll take the square root. Therefore, y equals the square root of 1 over x squared plus 3. Then, before I put it back in there, my apologies, now what I'm going to do is I'm now going to rewrite this. Instead of a y, I'm going to rewrite this in inverse function notation. And there you go. That's how you find the inverse of your given function.